hidden beneath the seas, the walls of a great city are visible. There are those who believe the architects were the vanguards of a society that took root in a new land. Who built it and why are still unknown. Perhaps these ancients knew more of the world than modern men imagine. In any civilization, there are some who take risks, men who reach beyond safe borders. The passing of adventurers may be signaled by structures on the land, marks in the earth, ciphers in stone, like the curious ruin on a bleak New Hampshire hilltop. It is called Mystery Hill. Who built it and why? New evidence suggests that North America was colonized long before the birth of Christ. Who were the colonists? How did they come to this wilderness? The legends of Native Americans tell of the first men who came into the world. They were brothers to wolves or sired by the very stars. Men, it was said, were animals, and animals were men. And that is how the Indians saw their own beginnings. Beyond Indian legend, we really know very little of those first men. Time and again, we find marks of their passing. Who were they? Where did they come from? What drove them to probe the wilderness and build outposts? Too many traces have been left by early wanderers. They cannot be ignored or easily explained away. In scattered enclaves, a fragment of what had been built may survive. It will become a small piece of our past, an item of evidence that leads researchers to the discovery of what truly occurred. When 17th century Europeans colonized what is now New Hampshire, they found that someone had been there before them. At the time, no one thought much about the stone ruin near New Salem. They called the curious stone structure Mystery Hill and let it go at that. Mysterious it was, totally unlike anything else the Europeans would encounter in their settlement of North America. It would not be until 300 years had passed that investigators would begin to solve the riddle of Mystery Hill. Their research would challenge some cherished ideas about the past. It's easier to cling to traditional beliefs than accept the possibility that we really know very little about our past. But if new ideas are sometimes uncomfortable, they can also be exciting. In the past year, evidence has been uncovered which suggests that there was a highly civilized presence on the shores of America thousands of years ago. The land called America was not devoid of people when the Europeans came. Europeans called the natives savages. The natives called themselves Ottawa and Cree, Mohawk and Seminole, Dakota, Pawnee and Kiowa. They were as unprepared to meet Europeans as the settlers were to understand them. Whatever their common origin might have been, the old and new world peoples had little in common. For the most part, the American Indian was still in the Stone Age. They revered their physical environment and lived close to it. They built lightly on the land, and although they banded together into great nations of hunters and warriors, their cities had no more lasting impact than a carpet of bright leaves in an autumn forest. Mystery Hill is not in the manner of buffalo hide teepees. It was built to last. Indians of this region did not build in stone. They lacked even the tools to do so. Mystery Hill would have been destroyed years ago if it were not for the efforts of Bostonian Robert Stone. Oh, wow. 
Stone bought up the ruin so that it could be preserved for scientific study and the enjoyment of tourists. They, got, you know, they, they would put the ashes in there, in other words. That's what we assume, yeah. yeah. Was this standing when you came here? Yes. Professor Hans Holzer has come to learn what Stone knows of the site. A noted author and student of antiquity, Holzer will attempt to answer the questions, who passed this way and why? The American Southwest is an arid land. Its native inhabitants found it difficult to scratch out a hold here. They built cities of mud brick, backed against cliffs for protection. Life hasn't changed much for the inheritors of this land. Outside of the few big cities of the Southwest, men still herd livestock and try to wrench a living from the dry soil. Theirs is a rich heritage, nevertheless. We know the Pueblo Indians by their etchings in stone. Their cliff-bound apartments showed thoughtful design and careful execution. But brick is not stone. The techniques used to build the Pueblos did not build Mystery Hill. Hans Holzer and Robert Stone can find little that Mystery Hill has in common with the Pueblos of the Southwest. Its architects must have come from another place, another culture. In the Medicine Bow Mountains of Wyoming can be found another curiosity in stone. It is called the Medicine Wheel. Mantled by snow much of the year, the geometric arrangement of rocks puzzled Western travelers for a long time. Most investigators are now agreed that the wheel was an Indian calendar. <laughs> 